as a paralegal. And do I have a motion to recommend this um, this particular thing called paralegal? Shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of twenty-one thousand fifty-seven dollars for the purpose of hiring a part-time paralegal in the town council's? Office majority vote required. Note the Warren article contains the cost of 39 weeks from April 1st, 2018, to December 31st, 2018. Total yearly cost $28,075. Motion from somebody, Regina. Thank you very much. Seconded by by David. Okay, Barbara. Motion by Regina. Second by David. All right. Um, would you like to talk about this, Mr. Manager? The purpose here is to, we, we, we did have two people in the legal department full time at one point. We lost one because of a death. Um, we, we're not planning on, on, on re enlarging the legal department back to two full time attorneys. That's just not going to happen at this point. Uh, we need somebody who can do the paralegal work for town council. He's very busy, he's busy all the time. Um, it's not unusual for him to work an entire weekend to try to get cases brought up to par and, and be ready for court. Uh, but somebody has to do the legal research work and has to do the typing and you know, the, the, the preparation of material for the courts and so forth. He has to formulate it all, but somebody's got to help him do that. He can't do it all himself. And a part-time <coughs> secretary isn't going to help. Somebody has to have some paralegal knowledge in order to get some of this material done. There's a lot of research work that goes on uh, in that department, and, and you need to have somebody who's familiar with the law, with the cases, uh, with the rulings of the courts, and so forth, to help counsel formulate that material. That's very important. We, we, you don't have him out doing clerk work, so to speak, uh, the paralegal work, uh, when he should be doing the counsel work, the actual attorney work. And uh, so we're proposing to have a paralegal hired at part-time $25 an hour uh, to do that work. This would be uh, part-time in accordance with current town standards, uh, not more than 32 hours per week uh, under the statute, and that, that may decrease depending on what to do with the statute. Um, and the, the current cost annually would be $28,000 in round figures. Uh, you already have that $28,075. $28, very important for us to do that. We tried last year <coughs> for a, uh, uh, an unpaid uh, uh, legal student to come in and help. That was very good, but it didn't do everything we needed to have done, which meant town council was still out doing a lot of this legal, legal research on his own without any help at all. He just needs that help. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Manager. Um, I just want to mention that um, the young man that was there last summer. It's very good. Um, yeah, he was, I met him a few times, wonderful. Is he coming back? I thought I heard something about he might be coming back this summer as well to internship. That hasn't been decided at okay. this point. Well, I, I hope he does because, of course, having one year already under his belt would you know, oh, yeah. that make him yeah. that much more uh, valuable. Okay. Ginny, uh, you wanted to ask a question yep. about this? Yes, I do. Go ahead. Why please. did the selectman cut it out? Uh, we, I cut it. Personally, I took it out of the budget. I wanted a separate Warren article because, Why? because I didn't want five people to vote on it. I wanted the town to vote on it. Maybe that wasn't clarified in some okay. that before. Okay, thank you, Regina. That clarifies that. But and who is this selectman that's been missing on all these votes? Oh, Jim wasn't here last week, and we did okay. those. We did all these. Been away for a week. We did all these <laughs> last week, so. Right. That's why. Okay. And when you say well, that, done Monday. Oh, you, Monday. You mean Monday of this week? Same right? week? Wow. Right. Okay. We're still on this Which, week. That may <laughs> change. I, I know. It may change to 5 zero. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Certainly. Okay. So, son, is that satisfy you, Ginny? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And Sonny, yeah. please. I, when I looked at the list of cases that Mark provided us, they all have outside counsel. You paid them so far 146000 through November, right? To get outside counsel prepped for all that material, you know, we, we don't hire outside counsel to have him do uh, prep work for stuff that we already have in hand and needs to be organized uh, and sent to outside counsel. Yeah. Otherwise, those charges would be three times what you're looking I at. I understand that. Well, my concern is all these suits 
should be done between multi towns. It shouldn't be Hampton suing, acquiring for her problems with Copley or, or we are. Wicca. We do. Well, you're talking about uh, Coakley Landfill? Yeah, I'm talking those about it. Those expenses are shared with those towns. <coughs> but normally, if, if a town sues somebody, you don't you don't sue them uh, with two or three towns. Each town's represented by their own attorney. Well, since I've been on the board, every time we we sue the aquarium, they ended up going to the Public Utilities Commission, getting their legal costs added into the bill. Every you, everybody does <coughs> that. Right. I understand that. I can't I'm prohibit. Looking at these suits, and, you know, I can't. There's no revenue attached to them. It's just foreign money, though. We well, hold on, hold on, hold that's on. That's not him. true. Let him, let him finish. That is that. not true. It's absolutely not true. Okay, so Aquarian has the right to go to the Public Utilities Commission and add all of their expenses into the rate. Okay. Did they mention at all that we had reduced their, their rate of recovery by more than 1% in their total billings in the last case we took before the Public Utilities Commission? I think the last time they came before the board, they said if you wanted to test for PFCs, it will be another 16% increase on the cost. They're going to increase it anyhow because the federal government's requiring them to do that. Yeah. And so is the state government requiring them to do that. Our, our point is that they should not take all of that money away from the ratepayers. Some of it should come out of their expense okay. and their profit. Well, In order to do that, right. we uh, have to go on, to the Public Utilities Commission. Hold on. We're going to be talking, we are talking about a Warren article here to hire a part-time paralegal, and we're going to stay on subject, okay? You're drifting far away into other things. We're not going to do that, okay? So... We're, going to, we're talking about a Warren article here, so anybody have anything to add or <coughs> comment, any questions about this Warren article, about hiring a part-time paralegal? Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. This Warren article was presented to us in the context of the burden that exists in the legal department. Therefore, I believe the questions related to the burden of the legal department is appropriate in discussing this Warren article. Okay. Any other question? Any other comments or questions? If no one does, I do. Well, then um, let's hear them. We have an internship now, correct? So this we had an internship. Do we still have money? Are we actually going to pay an intern next year? Or? The intern was yeah. free. All right. There was a discussion about giving a stipend to an intern. Yeah, we don't have any money in the budget for an intern. It's not. Okay, fine. And my other question is related to the physical space. I understand there's, again, concern about physical space being a challenge. This would be a part-time position, mm -hmm. okay? It would only be half-time during the course of the week at the most, and the other position that's up there is half-time as well. So there'd <laughs> be no space hours. problem, both 20 hours. So basically, you got they work opposite each this other. This is the second person that share the same seat. Yeah. The seat's going to stay warm for 40 hours a week. <laughs> who's, the, who, who's the other one keeping the seat warm? The secretary that's the in secretary. the budget. It has been in the budget. The secretary of the in the legal department. Yeah. Correct. Okay. So this is the paralegal in addition to a secretary that we already have. Yeah. We added the secretary last year, right? No, the secretary's been in there a while. Yes, yeah. several years. Yeah, yeah, Anne, yeah. Was in there. Anne was in there before Wanda passed. Yeah. She was in there for four years and uh, actually... It seemed yes. like just yesterday. Right? Yeah. yeah. She was hired a, a, a couple months before Wanda passed yeah. and, uh, to help out in that department. So even when there was two full-timers. Time flies by. Yeah. Um, anything else, Tim? No, that's it. Okay, we're going to vote now. No, vote. Jenny has a question. No, I'm just thinking, oh. if you want an intern, you're not telling me, Mr. Town Manager, that there's not $5,000 somewhere in that line item budget that you couldn't get, get the intern. That, this is where the five grand went. So there's not 5000 anywhere in your budget that you could find? No, nope, and I don't have any authority to hire an intern, and the selectmen haven't granted any authority to do that. So, Regina, you want to... I just, I want to we actually did talk about the intern, and we compared right. it to having a paralegal at one mm. of our meetings, and yeah. we decided to go with the part-time paralegal instead of the intern. I remember that conversation. I watched that meeting. So that, okay. that this is where the money went. Right. Okay. okay. All right. Note, Mr. Chairman, that the uh, no. okay. budget that... Jenny was referring to is 220000 approximately. And if this budget doesn't pass, the default is allocating only 180000 
So you got a forty thousand dollar delta between those two budgets. I don't know what's going to happen if this budget doesn't pass. Well, we will to the we'll cross department. that. Right, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay. So, okay. all those in favor, raise your hands. I have David and Mike Pluff, Steve LeBranch, Regina, Chuck Rage, and Ginny Bridal. All those opposed? I have Sonny and, uh, and Mr. Jones opposed. Thank you very much. We'll